everyone and welcome to another Bruffington vlog. I Today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup. This is how I do my makeup every day, whenever I do my makeup that is. So yeah, I don't use any special products that I like search for or anything. I just get whatever I can find, either at the grocery store, Walmart, or Target. But one of my followers um, on YouTube and one of my dear friends, she commented that she would like to see how I did my makeup because she liked it. So thanks, Anna. That was really nice. That really made my day. So um, I've had a lot of problems with acne. All, all growing up, I had some pretty bad acne and so I've got some acne scars. Um, I, still, I still get a lot of acne um, now and then. So you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it. I scratched myself really bad the other day with like my pinky nail, so that was weird. So I have got a scratch right there. One thing I do love about me, I've always really liked my eyebrows. Well, that's not true. When I was younger, I didn't really like them because I thought they were too bushy. But now that bushy eyebrows is kind of in, I, I think they're okay. <laughs> a side note, when I had my babies, the last two babies, I started getting little bangs right here. Moms who get extra hair after you have babies can relate. <laughs> little surprise for those of you who didn't know that was a possibility. So here we go. This is how I do my makeup on just a daily basis for just a normal day as a mom. So um, for my foundation, I use this CoverGirl thing. It's just like a, I don't know, pasty creamy thing. I, I get like the really, really light one because I have really pale skin and I, I don't ever usually tan or anything, so. As a side note, uh, to wash my face at night, I use, uh, Go get it. Uh, to wash my face at night, I use this Clean and Clear uh, Essential Foaming Facial Cleanser. Washes away makeup and dirt and stuff, and it's oil free. So that's one I actually just picked up the other day because I was out. So also something I like to hide with my foundation. I have very veiny uh, eyelids, so I'm I'm always making sure I get my eyelids, and I'm starting to get some bags under my eyes. So I'm just gonna make sure those are taken care of. Here's a fun poll question we'll do. Um, do you guys like waxing your eyebrows or plucking your eyebrows or what's it, like threading your eyebrows? Is that what it's called? Okay, next on my list. Okay, my blush that I use is uh, NYC Cheek Glow. Can't see it. I don't know what color it is. West Side Wine 652. I have not really figured out how to do contouring yet. Um, I haven't dived into that dove. I haven't dove, I haven't dived, I haven't dove in into that yet. So right now I just kind of use my blush as a type of contour. Is that really, really wrong? I don't know. But then I also try to get the apples of my cheeks. If that's what they're called, the cheek, the top of my cheekbones. I'm not trying to be like stuck up or, I don't know, saying nice things about myself, but I don't know, I just hate it when girls say what they don't like, so I'm kind of trying to do both, saying things that I don't like about myself and saying the things that I do like about myself. So I hope that doesn't rub anyone the wrong way. And I've had this brush like forever, like probably since I was 17 or something. Is that disgusting? I don't know, but it works still. So <laughs> the next thing I use is some Maybelline eyeliner. Unstoppable. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna try and use my camera screen to do this. We'll see how well it works. I don't know what I'm doing. I just go along the edge of my eye. Sometimes I try to go up a little bit on the ends, I guess. I usually just kind of try and rub it in with my finger. I can cl I can close this eye pretty good while I do it, but I cannot close my right eye to do eyeliner. But I can close my mouth, which is impressive, I think. And then and then I usually do a little bit on the bottom. You can see I have like leftovers from yesterday cuz I don't have eyeliner or like eye makeup remover stuff. I just use water and the soapy stuff. I try and connect it over here and then depends how I'm feeling that day whether I go all the way to the inside. But I used to not connect it all the way for some reason and I think my little sister like mentioned it to me one day. She was like, your eyeliner is weird. It doesn't connect on the ends. And so I was like, oh, I guess that is weird. <laughs> I should probably start doing that. Okay, this um, Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. I actually have been using for a really long time and I always choose this kind. I don't usually experiment with mascaras. Can you see it? See it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I think I have like medium good eyelashes. So yeah, I feel like with this, this mascara, it really like separates them good. Does it make them clumpy? And then I do a little bit on the bottom. Is this making your eyes water? Okay, the last thing that I've added to my routine recently is eyebrows because I love it when I see girls with like beautifully drawn on eyebrows. 
I don't need to do a lot of drawing, but I like to fill in the, the ends of mine a little bit just because on some videos I've seen of me, um, I was like, what is going on with my eyebrows? So, But if you ask Zach, he will tell you he hates it when I do my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know why he even has an opinion on that, but yeah. So is this wrong? Like, am I doing it wrong? I don't know. I kind of just like fill in any like gaps in the hair and then kind of just like draw down. I know I probably need to pluck a little bit. There's some little scragglers right there. So I don't know. I think I did this one a little bit weird. Does that look weird? Oh, and I just use, oh, I don't even know. I think I took the wrapper off of this. <laughs> so I don't even know what brand my eyebrow thing is, but the reason Zach hates it when I do my eyebrows is because he loves the way they are, which is very, very nice of him. Love you, Zach. Um, okay, I think I did this one a little lopsided. Okay, guys, that's it. That is how I do my makeup. If I'm ever doing my makeup just for a random day of the week, this is how it goes on. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is kind of out of the ordinary for me, and I hope that um, this type of a video doesn't turn anybody off. What I really want to make sure everybody knows out there is that you are beautiful inside and out. And I know that is so cheesy sometimes. We get sick of these cheesy sayings, like, you know, your mom has on the wall, like, you're beautiful. Usually the cheesiest sayings are the most true principles and you need to listen to them. If you're comfortable with who you are on the inside, how you're acting in your everyday life, if you're comfortable in your skin, then it will shine through in your outward beauty. If you're nice to people, if you take care of yourself, if you're healthy, if you are doing good things when nobody's looking, that's what's gonna shine through and that's when people are gonna think, wow, she is so beautiful. And I, I really truly believe that. And that, you know, working on ourselves on the outside is totally fine too. I wear makeup because there are some things about my face that I don't like and I like to get done up and I like to make my eyes pop a little bit more sometimes. But I hope that those types of things and those types of interests don't get in the way of finding, finding our true inner beauty. And again, cheesy but true. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give me a nice little thumbs up down there. And especially don't forget that you are beautiful. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Ooh, good one. You're getting fish. Oh! But I didn't.